around 12:51 today, we received a 911 call of an active shooter at the high school. Uh, deputies immediately responded, and uh, we received over 100 911 calls into our dispatch center. Over 100. Um, the uh, deputies uh, took a suspect into custody within five minutes of the original 911 call. They recovered a handgun from the suspect. The suspect fired multiple shots. There's multiple victims. Uh, it's unfortunate that I have to report that we have three deceased victims right now who are all believed to be students. We have six others that were shot. One was a school teacher. They're all at local hospitals being treated for various injuries. Um, Again, uh, multiple shots were fired. He did not give us any resistance when he was taken into custody. He's currently being transported back to Pontiac uh, for potential, well, I, he's already already invoked his right to, to not speak. So he wants an attorney. He's not telling us anything at this point in time. Um, it's, it's a very tragic situation, obviously. We will brief you again later, maybe around 5 o'clock. We can give you ages of the victims, conditions of the victims, where they live, things of that nature. Uh, behind us in the mire, they closed the store down for us and helped us with uh, reunification with the parents. We've got a lot of upset parents wanting to know the, uh, what's going on with their kids. There was an orderly evacuation. The school did everything right. Everybody uh, uh, remained in place. They barricaded themselves. And uh, 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 Tim here has done a great job in terms of preparing. You never want to prepare for something like this, but you have to. And the school district's done a wonderful job preparing. All the doors over there are marked at the high school if you've seen them. 